Hello everyone and welcome back. I know it's been some time since I was able to put out another video. This video guys, we're going to be looking at five more reasons why your Bluetooth speaker is connected to your mo mobile device without any audio coming out. I had the same similar issue with my JBL where it was connected to my mobile device but it wasn't putting out any music or anything so the party that I wanted it to do, it was a dud. So I am going to give you five more reasons, just like the last video where you could look down in the description and you can find the link to that video if you want to watch that before this one. It doesn't really matter how you watch these because they both, they kind of fan out together. But anyways, let's hop into the very first reason why your Bluetooth speaker may not be putting out the audio. The very first thing you want to check is to make sure the Bluetooth antenna in your mobile device, it is functional properly. So what you want to do is connected to another Bluetooth device, whether it's headphones, it doesn't matter what it is, as long as you connect it and it is functioning properly with that device, then you know it's not the phone issue. And then try to reconnect with another phone or something else that is able to connect to the speaker you're trying to use and see if there's an issue with that. And if there's not an issue, then you know there's got to be something that's going within the device itself, like some kind of app or something that's not allowing it. But if it isn't connected to the other device, then you know it's going to be an issue with the Bluetooth antenna within the device itself, or it's just not pairing right with it. Another thing you want to look at as well, it may not be compatible with the device you're using. So I may not be able to take this phone and use it on this speaker because the Bluetooth antenna specs and everything may not be on par with what's inside the speaker itself. Okay, so the next thing that could be causing an issue with your mobile device not being able to put out the audio with your Bluetooth speaker, it could be the media playback app on your mobile device. You're probably asking what is a media playback app? Where can I find it? I am not sure myself because I don't even know what where the media playback app is in my phone because I just got this phone not too long ago so I'm still kind of like adjusting and get to know it. But here is what it means, and you can take a look for yourself right here. Is the Android Media Player Media Player class can be used to control playback of audio, video files, and streams. Media Player is not a thread safe. Creation of and all access to player instance should be on the same thread. If version of callbacks, the thread must have a looper. So in other words, that it may have an issue within the Media Player app itself. So you want to check the Media Player app, make sure it's got that. I'm assuming like a Media Player app could be like a YouTube or something like that, where plays out videos or audio at the same time or something like that. I'm not too sure. You just may want to do some research on your end, but I will try my best down the road to do more research for you guys on the media player app and give you more advice on what you should do with that instance. So the next issue that you may be having, I would show you like a demonstration video or something of that sort to help you out to guide you through it. But unfortunately the phone that I got, it is the N200. So it doesn't have that particular function I am looking for. So when you connect a Bluetooth speaker to your mobile device, I know the Samsungs have it because my Galaxy S9 had the little media drop down where you can like turn it like just video calls, audio for the Bluetooth speaker and all that sorts where you can just pick which one you want to use. Well, you want to make sure that particular thing says video call, audio, all that good stuff. Make sure all of that is on. So you will be able to like navigate and be able to hear your audio. So if you have a Samsung phone, and I'm not too sure if the iPhones do or not have that function, but all you have to do is pull down the drop down menu and it should give you an option where you want to like just calls only or audio only or both. So you want to make sure the function of audio is on on that particular setting. You probably are not going to like what I'm about to tell you because you probably spent $200, $5, it doesn't matter how much the speaker is because if you're a tech nerd like I am and you enjoy a lot of tech, there's always going to be some kind of issue with that particular device because it's tech. And if it sits around for a long period of time, there could be issues with it with that or, you know, if they go through Walmart or some of those places where they like to throw packages around, you may have some issues with the speaker. So what's going to happen is that you bought a faulty speaker. Yes, you can blame it on all these retailers. You can blame it on whatever. But sometimes you get one bad egg in the bunch and you have to like eat the money if you pass the time where you're able to return it or take it somewhere where they can fix the faulty speaker itself because there's a lot of electronic shops out there that will do the repair or if you know somebody that does repairs on the stuff, you can get them to fix it. But the main deal is that you may have a faulty speaker that may not be working at all. So I would recommend looking to return it or find a way to repair it. 
Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed giving you all the information out there. I am going to try my best to put more video out there for all of you so that you are able to keep up with all the really cool Bluetooth speakers that I'm going to be getting in the near future. My next video, it will be the JBL, the gray one behind me versus the Idiot Plink. And I will let you see all the really cool stuff because I did do reviews on both of those and you can take a look at both of those videos so you can kind of get the feel of which one you're going to like the most and if you watch both of the videos drop it down in the comments let me know which one you like the most but as far as what's going to happen we'll find out if the cheaper speaker is better than the expensive speaker so i hope you enjoy this video as i am rpm nexus and i will see you in the next video peace